Yeah, on the line with us is our old buddy Greg Pallast. GregPallast.com, the website, and uh, Greg, welcome back to the program. T uh, tell Atlanta, us what's going on and set up. You're, you're in Atlanta. I'm in New York. Set up this clip for us, would you? And this is the one with uh, the 92-year-old woman, or is it Raheem? I don't know. Uh, yeah, yes, Christina, yes. isn't her name? Uh, Christina. Christine Jordan. Uh, by the way, Christine Ford. And you're gonna. Uh, I was at the polling place with Raheem Shabazz, a voter who was on the purge list uh, that I put up at gregpalace.com. He found out he was purged. He went with me to make sure that he got a provisional ballot at least, which he did. And as I was leaving, uh, we found uh, a woman in, in tears, two women in tears, one in a walker, 92 years old, and her granddaughter, um, uh, Jessica. And uh, Christine Ford, by the way, I was with her. I went to her home last night. She is a cousin of Martin Luther King. She voted at the same place for 50 years, and she's another one purged by Brian Kemp, one of 340,134 people, which we know for darn certain have been purged illegally by Brian Kemp. And now he's, by the way, now he's stepping away as Secretary of State. Well, so what? He already purged, purged himself to, uh, uh, to uh, what he thinks will be a victorious uh, governorship race. So here is Christine. Right. So here's the. I, I, I have this as Christine Jordan. Is it Christine Ford? Yes. Which no, is I'm it? sorry. Christine Jordan. Christine Jordan. Christine Jordan. Okay. Here is Christine Jordan and her granddaughter. I'm, has this ever happened to you before? No. How long you've been voting? Oh my life. Ever since I was now. But I've been voting right here. Ever since 1968. Yeah. And it's just. It's horrible. And and I say that because. The West End, she's been in this community back when we could, when they were doing sit-ins. She held civil rights meetings in her home. And today to come out and not be able to vote and no one can give you an explanation, like it's extremely emotional and it bothers me. It bothers me to my core. Like there's actually no record of her whatsoever voting in any election whatsoever and it's ridiculous. You literally get wiped off the off the off the list. I mean, you're some just like gone. Were, Is that how like, it works? Yeah, we're, yeah. Some people were disappeared. Some people uh, we got. And I went with a, a young Latina woman. Uh, they tried to refuse her provisional ballot. They said, "Well, if you're not on the voter rolls, you can't get a provisional ballot." Well, that's the whole point of the provisional ballot, Mr. Kemp, is that when you wrongly purge people, people have a a fighting chance to get their ballot counted. Uh, by the way, we went back and got. Um, and we got the Christine Jordan, the 92-year-old woman, a provisional ballot, and she filled it out. Uh, and uh, now I asked her whether uh, she would go to uh, federal court, as some of the other victims have told me they're willing to do, to go into federal court. I've already sued Brian Kemp, but they would now go into federal court to demand that their vote be counted. And she said, right. well, right. she absolutely would go to federal court as long as someone... Uh, helps her walk to the courthouse because she needs help to do that. Wow. Now, yesterday I was uh, talking with uh, uh, Brian Pruitt, who is a conservative. He writes for redstate.org. And he, Brian's a, a, a reasonable guy. He's, he's, yep. uh, he's a decent okay. guy. I, I like him as a human being. Um, and, and uh, you know, I told him about the, the voter purge, and, and his response was, well, you know, that's a normal thing. You know, you have to keep the voter rolls clean. If people move or die, you have to take their names off or you have to assign them to new districts or precincts. And, uh, you know, occasionally things fall through the cracks. But I think the argument he was making is if 340,000 people were purged in Georgia and the voter turnout was, say, half of the electorate, there should be like 150,000 provisional ballots. Um, if, if what you're saying is absolutely the case, and if what Brian is saying is absolutely the case, there should be like 10,000 provisional ballots, you know, the screw-ups. Do we have any idea what the number of provisional ballots in Georgia is? I think we're looking at about 50,000, which I expect because we, okay, first of all, um, when you talk about cleaning the voter rolls, these black voters are not dirt, okay? They're not dirt. They're not garbage to be taken out and to be scrubbed off. Uh, second, yes. Um, the National Voter Registration Act of 93 says that you're, that you're supposed to uh, maintain the rolls, which is what Kemp says he was doing, to make them more accurate. Well, removing people from moving who didn't move is making them less accurate. 
and bleaching them whiter than white. That's not list maintenance. That is choosing right. your voters. This is this is just simply, you know, uh, instead of Jim Crow, it's Dr. James Crow database analyst. Uh, there and I'm not kidding when I when I put that number down 340,134. I took Brian Kemp's purge list, which I got because I went to federal court to to get it out of his hands. That's why if it was, by the way, if it was honest, he'd be turning over these public documents. That's why the court said he had to give them to me because they're public, so we can review it. And we did. We went to the experts. Uh, we took the names he said had moved, and and our experts said. We can verify absolutely because unlike Brian Kemp, we actually went to the Georgia DMV. We went to the Georgia tax files. We went to the to Georgia Power and got the you know we went through all those databases and to confirm that these people had never moved anywhere. Three hundred forty thousand one hundred thirty four. And I went to the polls with with a bunch of them, and they were one of the things one of the tricks when your friend says, well they be getting provisional ballots not according to Brian Kemp. Brian Kemp put out the word that if someone's not on the voter rolls, they don't get a provisional ballot. So you can't even complain. So he's wrong about that because, look, Kemp has figured out this crime down to the last details that make sure that they don't get the provisional ballot at all. So they, they try to take away Martin Luther King's cousin's vote, and they try to stop her from getting the provisional ballot. We had a fight to get it. I went with this Latina woman, um, Ashley Jones. You'll see her at gregpalace.com today. We'll put up the film of her trying to vote, and them trying to deny her that provisional ballot, only because I came in and said, hey, federal law and several cameras watching you. Um, our uh, legal team has been calling counties, There's, and the, you know, the, the white uh, county supervisors are saying, we're only giving provisional ballots to people who deserve it. Well, what's the color of the people who deserve provisional ballots? So basically, the only provisionals that they're trying to hand out are those if there's a question over your ID, because you didn't bring one of the goofy IDs they require, or there's a signature match issue. But all these people who were purged, they're trying to deny them not only the right to vote, but the right to cast that provisional ballot. So that's why we're seeing, instead of 100,000 provisional ballots, we may only see 50,000. Plus, the counties are not reporting the total numbers of provisional ballots. They're only reporting the numbers that they are accepting into the tally, which is very few. So we're not even getting the full count. In fact, we're going to have to go to court again just to get the full count of how many provisional ballots were cast. And, of course, the big problem is that Kemp said don't hand out provisional ballots. So I think most of the people purged who show up, if they show up, remember, you don't get a voting card. You don't know where you're supposed to be, et cetera, um, are not even getting those ballots because, you know, they don't have Greg Pallas or lawyers or um, cameras with them to get the ballot that they're supposed to get. Wow. Wow. So it, it's entirely possible that 150,000 people showed up and and 100,000 of them were turned away or they just didn't know where to go. They went to, you know, and, and uh, or whatever. And and that could account for why there's 50. Rough, the best guess is 50,000 provisional ballots. My, my so, Greg, we just have a minute left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, what's what's the you know Brian Kemp has declared victory. What's what's the status with Stacey Abrams? What's going on? Okay, Stacey Abrams saying let's count the votes. We have only four out of 159 counties that certified their count, and and they're minuscule. And uh, she's saying count all the votes, count all the absentee ballots. Though again, Kemp is playing his games with the ballots. Uh, a young voter I know in Savannah lost uh, her absentee ballot was not counted. That's my daughter. Okay, and believe me. I went over her really? ballot very carefully to make sure it was uh, completely accurate and countable. You know, there, so there you go. Because they, they know. Why was your daughter's ballot it. not counted? Was it because, because she forgot she to put her a middle ballot. initial in her signature? Uh, they're not giving us any. That's the other problem. I'm going to have to sue to find that out. I mean, the, the problem is they know. Cause it's because she's in a largely Democratic town because she's not she's black. Totally, yeah. She's a totally Democratic town. That's the other thing. They're going after the Savannah, Athens, Atlanta. Uh, you cast votes there, they just don't want you to cast votes. Gwinnett County. Yeah, yep. yeah, I got it. Greg Palace, keep up the great work, my buddy, my friend. Good talking with you, Greg. Thanks so much for being with us. This is, uh, this is an amazing, amazing story. We'll be back with more of the news of the day and your calls in just a moment. It is coming up on 45 minutes past the hour.